Hey, can I talk to you for a second about something? You see, I've been watching you. Scouting you is probably a better term. I guess what I'm saying is that you look very capable in a fight, and we need people like you. I'm with the Frontier NCR. Here's a brochure. Read the pamphlet and come visit us, north of Westside. Please be discreet. There's a reason we're using pamphlets instead of radio signal. Well, the rest is in the pamphlet. Remember, be quiet about this. Just read the pamphlet. Gotta go, man. Oliver has eyes everywhere. Stay frosty. Yeah. I'll miss the warmth of the Mojave. Yeah. Whoa, hold it right there, stranger. State your name and business. The courier? <laughs> hey, Quinn, ain't that useless jester head in Baker Company calling himself the courier? Has a scar on his dome, too? Yeah, told everyone when he was famous or something. <laughs> Last time I checked, the only thing he was good at was scrubbing the floors. <laughs> so let me guess, you're the real courier? So you're the one who destroyed the Enclave? Oh, you idiot, that was the chosen one. It doesn't matter. So, you're here to sign up for a tour of the frontier? It's a bit complicated, but if you want to know the full story, you'll have to sign up with us first. Then I hope you are prepared for all of the risks. The frontier is a very unforgiving environment. All right, talk to Lieutenant Gray in the tent. He'll get you sorted. What is it? What's up? Yes? Really? Well, I might just hit my daily quota after all. I'm curious. You're obviously not one of these brain-dead grunts, or your typical merc. 
Why would you want to go to the frontier? Why fight for us? Huh. I figured you'd be interested in the pay. Which is 2,000 caps, by the way. Well, I've always thought that a good soldier's an honest soldier. I've heard about squads getting wiped out because some pig-headed sergeant couldn't admit she was wrong. Idiot! <clears throat> Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. That's just what I've heard. Fire away. Uh, figuratively, that is. Keep in mind that I can only provide information on a need-to-know basis. Aside from freezing weather and a bunch of lunatics trying to carve you into pieces, not much. Just do as you're told. What else? Well, to be clear, we're not really a part of the NCR anymore. We're exiles. We moved to the frontier to get away from the NCR and the Mojave. We chose to make camp in the frontier due to it being a pre-war city, rich with resources that we would like to make good use of. But, as of lately, we have been having trouble with the Legion who managed to organize the locals against us. That would be General Blackthorn. He was the one who led us to the frontier. I've known Blackthorn for quite some time. He's a top-notch tactician, and you'll never find a more dedicated soldier. But more importantly, he cares about his soldiers. He cares about them more than the NCR ever have. His men trust him, enough to follow him into hell. So what do you say, soldier? Ready to give a good old-fashioned ass-kicking to the Frontier and the Legion? I got it. The military life isn't for everyone. The sooner you take care of business there, the sooner you're back to your normal life here. Whatever that may be. If it takes three days, then congratulations. You've completed the shortest tour in NCR history. The brass just want this done. The sign-on contract is different from the ones we use for regular enlistees. Look it over. There aren't any clauses about desertion. Just get the job done, get the caps. If you waste our time, we'll waste yours. That's just how it is. So, what do you say, soldier? Ready to do the Frontier NCR proud? Well, a soldier's a soldier. Now that you're working for the Frontier NCR, you're going to need a uniform. Long term or short term, Brass demands that all troopers be geared with standard NCR equipment. It's supposed to promote order and unity or some kind of feel-good crap like that. Here, take this. Now, to our next prerogative. Which gun do you prefer? A well-rounded weapon, that is. You're all set. Hop onto the back of the transport truck when you're ready for the journey. It'll be a long trip, so be sure to bring all essentials. And remember, there won't be any return trips to the Mojave until your tour is completed.
business is finished. You're in Sergeant Johnson's hands now. Godspeed, soldier.